Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Monday, February the 19th, 2024, otherwise known as President's Day. Um, I hope that you were able to have the day off today. And if you did have the day off, I hope it was wonderful. I hope it was relaxing. Hope you didn't do much. Um, if you did have to work, such as my husband, I hope it wasn't too bad. Um, but whatever the case, maybe I hope it was a great day. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I have not seen y'all in a while. It has been a hot minute. Um, and let me tell you the reason for that. Actually, you can see from the title that this is an empty video with two weeks worth of empties. And the reason I am a week or so behind is because my family, um, and my family meaning me, my husband, my son, we are, drum roll, moving. That's right, we are moving, you guys. Um, we are very, very excited about this move. This is something that has been on our radar for a while. We have been planning this, thinking about it, but we, also didn't rush into it. We spent many months like looking for places, touring places, um, visiting places because we wanted to find the place that was just right for us financially, um, space wise, you know, we just, we wanted it to be just right. So we did find a place. It's actually not too far from where we are now. It's about maybe a 10 minute drive. So not far. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. I will probably do a video once we move in and kind of give y'all a tour of my new home. Um, y'all have heard me talk about my kitchen here where I live now. It is very small. My new kitchen, you guys, is about three times the size of this one here. It has brand new appliances. It's very like chic and modern. It's just amazing. My pantry is huge. Um, bedrooms are beautiful, but I think the thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that my master bathroom has two sinks, his and her sinks. My husband and I have never had that in all the years we've been married, and this is going to be a game changer. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so we are just, we're looking forward to it, but it is a little bit stressful. Um, the packing process has begun and I told myself and my family this time moving, like we've moved several times, but this time in particular, we are going to purge. And I had to like really, really convince my son to throw stuff away because he loves to just hold on to things for sentimental value. But I said, if we haven't touched it, if we haven't used it, if we haven't, you know, gotten anything out of it in a few months, we're throwing it away or we're giving it away. So that's making the packing process a little bit longer, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. So all of that to say, I feel like my videos have kind of been put on the back burner and I really can't like promise y'all a video because I don't know when I'm going to pop on. Um, today I was able to pop on to get this one done because I had some free time, but the next couple of weeks are going to be super busy with packing and moving. So I am just going to do a video when I can. Um, I'm hoping, you know, sooner than later because I am really far behind <laughs> and I miss you guys. I miss y'all when I don't do a video. So I'm going to try my hardest to get them out, but it's just going to kind of have to be like a surprise video today because I really can't like, you know, sit here and say, see you tomorrow because I really don't know what tomorrow's going to hold. But we have an empty video to do today, two weeks worth. I'm really excited to show you some of the goodies I got through. Um, I have a candle here, one thing of body care, I think maybe a couple of things of room spray, some wax, the majority of the wax I emptied um was part of the melting challenge with patricia gates there are a few things of wax um that is not melting challenge related just stuff that i kind of did on my own but let's get into it we're going to start with this candle right here now this candle i i cannot think 
of when I got this. I either got this like last fall, you know, October, November, or the year before. I really don't, I don't remember how long I've had this, but this is Pumpkin Pecan from Big Lots. It is a 14 ounce candle. And isn't that what Bath and Body candles are, 14 ounces? I think so. Um, <laughs> $6.99 for this bad boy. And you guys, this was not bad. Um, it was a triple wick, white wax. So when I saw this in the store, I saw pumpkin pecan, so you know where my mind went, right? It went to, is this pumpkin pecan waffles? And I got really excited. Um, the scent notes on the front say pumpkin sugar and pecan. So it says nothing about a waffle note. Um, it just says harvest scented wax candle, 14 ounces. And there's the picture of the pumpkin pie. Um, Y'all, this was really not bad for a big lots, $7 candle. It was good. Now I will say, I did this. Well, I started out doing this kind of in my downstairs living area open concept space, and it did get a little bit lost. Now, I think if you wanted to do this in a larger space, you could pair this with a stronger pumpkin candle like the Bath & Body Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and I think it would do much better. Um, now, I also tried this in my smaller space, my kitchen, and it did great. So I think you do this in a small space, it's gonna be fine. If you wanna do it in a larger space, I think you would need to pair it with something. Um, it's not pumpkin pecan waffles, and I don't think you could expect it to be for $6.99, but for what it was, it was really, really good. I didn't get a waffle note, and it doesn't even say waffle anything on here. To me, this was more of like a pumpkin spice with some, oh, excuse me, with some bakery undertones. Um, it was still really good, and I would definitely get this again for $6.99. Not bad. All right, moving on to body care. I emptied out a bag of Dr. Teal's Epsom Salts Soaking Solution Relax and Relief in the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This is a three pound bag. I got it Walmart for, how much are these? Like five or six bucks? They're not super pricey. And I mean, for a three pound bag and for Dr. Teal's, I mean, I would pay that for Dr. Teal's because Dr. Teal's to me is just so good. It's good in the salts. It's good in the like bubble bath. and. Honestly, I pair like my Dr. Teal's things together. I put this in my bath water and then I add the matching bubble bath to it. <sighs> Y'all, it's so good. I mean, to me, it's right up there with the Bath and Body Stress Relief line. So, so good. And it says on here, um, essential oils, eucalyptus and spearmint helps ease aches and soreness from muscle pains helps relax the mind and reduce stress and it really does it's so so good and i've tried the other scents in dr teal's and they're just as good but that one with the eucalyptus eucalyptus and spearmint to me is right up there with the bath and body works love it all right so yeah i see two room sprays in here both from bath and body works um this one <sighs> pumpkin pecan waffles you guys um i mean i don't know what else to say like <laughs> this is my my scent you know how everybody has like their scent that's just you know i guess what they're known by um or i am like dropping everything hold on, please oh my goodness i am so sorry um yeah, this is just my comfort scent. It's my happy scent. It's my year-round scent. This, to me, is not limited to September, October, November. This is 12 months a year. Love it. Yeah, absolutely love it. And I'm happy to say that I did pick up several of those at the last SAS, so I'm good. I feel like I'm stocked. Um... 
I try to save them for the fall just because I know I'm not going to get my hands on any of this until the fall. But, you know, sometimes the spirit just like moves me and I have to, you know, pull out a PPW. <laughs> All right. This one was brand new to me. I don't even remember when this came out. Um, was this an SAS thing? I don't remember. Or was it? Yeah, I honestly don't remember when this came out, but I picked up a couple of these in Strawberry Snowflakes. Um, yeah, this one was all right. I'm not sure if this would be a repurchase for me because I think this was not like Strawberry Bakery. And I don't know why it would be with Strawberry Snowflakes in the name, but I think for me with Strawberry... Like, if I do a strawberry scent, I want it to be like strawberry pound cake, or I want it to have like those bakery components to it. And this was just a very odd smelling strawberry to me. Um, it wasn't horrible. I mean, I emptied out the whole thing, but would not be a repurchase. It was just okay. All right, so let's see. I did candle, body care, room spray. All right, we are ready for wax. So let me do the Melting Challenge wax first. And I did um, go on uh, Patricia's YouTube page and I jotted down because <laughs> with all that's in my mind right now, there is no way I would remember what wax went with what day. So I did um, write down the days and the wax so I could tell you um, what went with what. All right, so let me pull some of this out. How many of y'all are doing melting challenges? Um, I know there's a lot of different ones out there. So let me know in the comments, are you doing a melting challenge? If you are, which one are you doing? Are you doing Patricia's? Are there some other ones out there that maybe I don't know about? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments because they're really, really fun. I don't know why it took me so long to join up to a melting challenge because it, for me, doing a melting challenge, it, I don't want to say it forces me, but it helps me dig through my stash and like melt something that either has been sitting there forever or that I normally wouldn't have, you know, gotten around to melting. It's just, it's fun. It really is fun. Okay. Now there were a few days, um, that I did not melt or that I didn't do one of the prompts for whatever reason, but I do know that on February the 4th, it was melt a Valentine themed wax. And I don't know that one, it seems easy, right? But for me, it was a little bit hard and I don't know why. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna see if I can find something in my collection that's maybe shaped like a heart. And I did, I found this one that was gifted to me by my sweet friend, Becca, Becca Marie. Um, it was a heart shape from Silky Soaps and Scents and it was in the scent Gummy Bear Slushy. No scent notes, but it was very, very fruity, sugary, kind of what you would expect from a gummy bear. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was super strong, um, and it worked for that Valentine Day because it was heart-shaped. Okay, um, Moving on to February the 6th. February the 6th was melt something, um, I guess, that had like a movie or a TV theme to it. And that one was also a little bit hard for me because I really didn't have a lot related to a TV show, but I did come across this one. Um, this one was sent to me by my sweet friend, Maggie, when she sent me some Scentsy things. Um, this was Scentsy from the Villains, the Disney Villains collection in the Evil Queen Just One Bite. So I was like, well, that doesn't go with the TV show, but it definitely goes with the movie. Um, 
Yeah, and again, oh, you know what? I just noticed that Maggie wrote the set notes on here. So sweet. Thank you, Maggie. Um, it says apple, warm cinnamon, and molasses, I believe that says. Um, yeah, and this to me was just like a very, very rich apple spice scent. Yeah, loved it. That one was super strong. Okay, February the 7th was melt a greenery scent. And when I first saw that and it said greenery, immediately I was like, fresh cut grass, fresh cut grass. And you guys, I'm just going to stop right here and say, I, I'm learning that I love, and I mean love with a capital L, fresh cut grass, not on its own, but when it is blended in with something fruity. I am like, I am all about that. Um, I have had fresh cut grass um, with, uh, I think it was like Mac Apple. I've had it with lavender, kind of like a sweet lavender. Y'all, it's good. It's good. I am not like huge on fresh cut grass by itself, but you know, if I never, if I ever came around to doing like a custom, I would definitely do it with like sweet fruity scents. It's so good. And this one um, was also sent to me by my sweet friend Becca Marie um, from Silky Soaps and Scents. It was a very big bag of some shapes. And this was in the scent Daydreaming, and it was watermelon, strawberry, sweet lavender, and fresh cut grass. And I was like, this absolutely works for a greenery day, right? Oh my gosh, this was so good. Y'all, if you have never tried, and I know so many people are scared of fresh cut grass, and I was too, but try it you know, as a blend with some sweet, fruity scents, you will love it. This was fantastic because I, I still got the fresh cut grass, but it didn't make me think that I had just gone outside and, you know, somebody had just cut their, their lawn. No, I don't like that. But I got whiffs of it, but then I also got whiffs of like the watermelon and the strawberry. It was so good. So thank you, Becca. All right, February the 8th. <laughs> I will say that February the 8th was probably my favorite um, prompt of these two weeks because it was melt a red hot cinnamon scent and I smiled so big. I was like, hmm, do I have any red hot cinnamon to melt? <laughs> uh, yes. Um, so I got three things out of my collection for that day. Could have gotten a lot more. Um, this was a clam from Aldi Huntington Home in Cinnamon Latte. Now, I've talked about this one before that I'm thinking this has been in my collection for a while because I remember when I first got this, this being a lot stronger so maybe Aldi things just don't age well. So I'm trying to use this up, but it's not great by itself. Like you really don't get much. So I was like, well, on this cinnamon day, why not use some of this, but let's pair it with some stronger cinnamon things. <sighs> so this, oh my gosh, this fit the bill. Scent shot, this was actually from the Spice Sampler from L3 in Samantha Stevens, which was fresh baked cinnamon red hot cookies. You guys, <laughs> I'm not sure I got cookies from this. I just got red hots and I was here for it. Like I didn't even care that the cookie note didn't come through in this. The red hots did like really, it smelled like you opened up a bag of red hots. I mean, that's, and you just inhaled. I loved this. 
loved it. And then, you guys, I need to talk about this vendor. Um, I have only ordered from this vendor once. It's here on my channel if you'd like to check it out, Limited Creation. I really don't know much about that company other than the owner's name is Emily, and I will definitely be ordering again. Um, you guys, okay, so Limited Creation, um, yeah, definitely check them out. Um, they have, I mean, they don't have a lot of choices. I know they have these here. These are called their Melt Cups, and they are um, five ounces. And I want to say these go on their website for like maybe $7 or so. And to me, it's just like a tub, you know? like one of those tubs that you get from other vendors. And then I know she also offers what she calls her mini milk cups, which are like one ounce scent shots. Y'all, everything that I have gone through from Limited Creation has been fantastic. Has thrown like crazy. Um, this was Red Hot Cinnamon and I'm sad because that is all I have left. Oh man, this was so good. So, so, so good. And I don't say this lightly, but this possibly one of the best red hot cinnamons I've ever had. So good. Limited creation. Definitely, definitely check them out. Okay. Um, February the 9th was melt a sweet or candy type scent. So let's see, what did I do on that day? Okay, um, so I finished out a scoopable from L3 Waxy Wonders. Um, this just kind of gave me the candy vibes. It said sweet or candy. Um, this was pralines and cream, French toast, candy corn, banana nutmeg, bread pudding. Um, so you, yeah, definitely got the sweet from this, right? I mean, that's very sweet. <laughs> and then there was also candy from the candy corn. I really, really enjoyed this. Oh, it was a beautiful yellow color. I'm actually sad I don't have any more. I would definitely get this again. Um, it wasn't like so sweet that it gave you like sugary cotton candy vibes, but I feel like I got a little bit of the banana. It wasn't runt or Laffy Taffy. It was like bakery banana, like banana nut bread. Um, and then you got kind of that French toast. It, it was sweet, but it was toned down, I guess, by maybe, I don't know. Oh, it was so good. So, so, so good. And a strong thrower, loved that one. And then I also, um, I did, where did I do that scoop? I think I did that scoop um, like out in my living area. And then I also really wanted to dive into this as well. Um, this kind of went along with the sweet and candy theme of that day. I want to say I did this in the bedrooms. Um, this was a bag from Yum Yum Wax and Strawberry Taffy. Um, Y'all, that's another vendor that if you have not tried, you need to try Yum Yum. Her stuff is so good. I haven't ordered from Yum Yum um, so far this new year, and I don't know why I need to. She's definitely one of my top vendors. This was an amazing strawberry. It did not give me strawberry pound cake. It was very sweet and sugary, which is what you would expect from strawberry taffy. Oh, it was so good. Loved it. Loved it. All right. February 10th, melt a family favorite. This is actually a new found love of my family's. My family has a lot of favorites. Um, but this is Scentsy Almond Croissant. Y'all know that I'm brand new to Scentsy and I've had sweet friends such as Maggie and Chris, Dazzling Scents with Chris, who have gifted me some of their Scentsy things um, because I'm new. Like I have, I just have no clue. I'm learning, I'm hoping that 2024 is gonna be my year to really like dive hard into the Scentsy wax. But this, holy cow. 
almond croissant. And I I also think I picked up an almond croissant like a couple of round robins ago that I participated in. And I've heard the hype. I keep hearing people talk about how good this is, but I don't think I really understood how good it was until I actually warmed it in my house. This is fan freaking tastic. Oh, it's strong. It is such a powerhouse. Sometimes almond can scare me a little bit, but that one, you get the nuttiness, but then you get like that bakery heaven from the croissant. So good. February the 11th. Um, okay, that was Super Bowl day. So I remember it said um, warm something that's either like football related or remind you of Vegas. This one was actually really fun for me to pull out. Um, again, from Limited Creation, one of her milk cups in creme brulee. My family and I, we went on a vacation to Las Vegas a year or so ago. My first time to ever go to Vegas. And I remember on that trip having the best creme brulee I have ever had in my entire life. And I am not a huge creme brulee fan. Um, in fact, I don't really eat it here. Like, but for some reason, I guess in Las Vegas, it's what you do. And I don't even remember the name of the restaurant, but I just remember having this for dessert and it totally changed my mind on creme brulee. So I was like, oh, I have creme brulee in a wax cup. Yes, perfect for that day. And I have a little bit left. It was so good. Again, with this limited creation, her stuff is so good. Um, and this one I noticed has scent notes at the top. It says lightly torched sugar and a hint of coconut, a rich creamy custard and a vanilla and maple base elevated by a dash of rum. It was so amazing. Loved it. All right, February the 12th, Melt a Recent Love. Okay, this, uh, again, sent to me by Becca. Becca, you just blessed me with so many yummy things. Thank you so much. Um, sorry looking outside. I'm going to put y'all on pause for one second. I'll be right back. 